Hi, it's Peter Kerbel here again from Data Sciencing Consultants, making an another video for datasciencing.com. In this video, I'll be using machine learning and multiple linear regression to predict the profit of a startup. I'll be using Python and Jupyter Notebook. So first, we'll bring in the code here for doing the pre-processing. I'll be importing these libraries. And next, I'll be importing my data set. And I'll check out the data set. So here we have 50 startups. And the categories they have are the research and development expenditures, uh, administration expenditures, marketing expenditures, uh, the state where the startup is, and their profit. So next we will clean the data a bit. Because in our x values we don't need the independent variable. That's the profit here. Or there, this is the dependent variable. These are the independent variables. And in the y variable we just need the four independent variables. So then we'll take a look at those. Let's see here are our x's and this will be our y. Would just be the uh, dependent variable. Yeah, so y here is just the uh, profit. This is just the uh, dependent variable, just the uh, a column here at the end of the data set. I think I must have spoke before. So now we will need to encode the categorical data and code the independent variable because here the state is by name and that doesn't help with the machine learning because uh, it's a category so we got to turn those into numbers that we can use and so we'll just turn them into uh, zeros and ones so if this line has if it's New York then it'll be a one for the New York column and or California or Florida so we'll see how that goes here now we'll look, look, see, look at X see now so this is the California column, here is Florida, and here's New York. So the first one here is has one New York and a zero for California and Florida. And the second one here is California and then Florida. So this one has a one here. So here's the first row. Here's the second row. So it's yes for California, no for Florida, no for New York. And this one was no for California, yes for Florida, no for New York. Since these variables, the three categorical variables, since if it's not New York or not Florida, it has to be California, we don't need three dummy variables, so we're going to use this to get rid of them. So we're going to have the extra variable there that might mess up our analysis later. Alright, now we're going to do one of the main parts of machine learning, and that's we're going to split our data set into the training set and the test set. So we're going to take 80% of our data to do the machine learning and that's going to train the model to predict the profit and then we'll use the 20% left over to test to basically compare um, that model. So, so we're not trying to find the exact profit from the our sample here, the 50, we just want to be able to predict if we get a list of a thousand startups with this information, we want to be able to predict what the profit is. So we're going to use this, the 80 
percent here to train. I'll just show you here. So these are 80% that it picked. And here will be the 20% uh, that will be used for testing afterwards. So now we're going to fit the multimillion regression to the training set here. And now we're going to predict the test set results. So we'll just use y predict as the variable. And now we'll see what happened here. So this is what it would predict. So based on the training set, it's predicting, and then we take the 20% the left over from the test, and we're testing these, and this is what the model predicts the profit would be for those uh, from the test set. And now we will look at the actual profit and compare, see how well the model did. So here's the actual. For this one, it was 100. 3,282 and we predicted it would be 103,015 so that's pretty close. Now we'll look at the next one here. It's actually 144,259 we predicted, the model predicted 132,582 so that's not great. And this is 132,447, this is 146 that's a bit off. This one here is a bit closer. Then this one is here, 178 to 192. It's not great. This one's closer here, 105 to 115,000. 67,000 and 81,000 is about 13,000 off, which isn't great. But these ones are better here, 97, 98, and then 113 and 110. Here's 166, 167. So it's not, wasn't uh, perfect, but I got most of these uh, fairly accurately. Now we'll, we will build an optimal model using uh, backward elimination to see if there's any of these variables that aren't uh, important here. Uh, there's the list of them. See if any of these independent variables, see if they are not statistically significant to predict the profit. So we'll, we'll use backward elimination. Well, first we'll use them all. We'll add all these into the model, and then we will find which ones aren't needed. We'll use we'll use a p-value of 0 0.05, and so any of these when we do the calculations, I'll show it later. Um, that are above that, we can eliminate. But first, we to make this work for, the, for this model, we need to add we need to add a x variable. Let's see, after we got rid of after we had these dummy variables, and we got rid of the one, we need to add a uh, one for the constant here I'll show it. Here's the so this is a simple linear regression. It's y equals b naught plus b1 x1. So just one independent variable. And here's multiple linear regression. Here we have multiple independent variables and here are the coefficients and this here is the constant and technically it would have an x0 here but that's one so it's ignored but in our model we need to add that so it, it knows what it uh, needs to know that there's something there so that's what we'll do at the just a one here the uh, front for the constant so we'll use a new library stats model import that and here it's adding uh, ones to the 50 rows and just one column we can look at x, what it looks like now. See now the beginning of each row has the 1 to, to multiply to the constant, just so there's a, a value there for the uh, model to calculate. All right, now we will start optimizing the 
model and we'll use the we're going to use ordinary least squares and so here's all our variables and Python it starts at uh, zero so we have our six this is our constant and these are our, uh, this be Florida New York research and development administration and marketing so we'll run this and we'll see what we get so here's our results and here are our, here's the constant and here are our variables and we're looking here at the largest p-value which is x2 here that is New York so that is uh, not relevant to calculating the or predicting the profit so we can remove that one so that is second one here we can remove that variable and let's see what we get now now this is the highest p-value that's x1 that is for Florida so that also is not relevant to if the startup to predict uh, the profit of a startup so we can remove that variable and run this again now we have here this is the next biggest one so here's a constant so this is this variable here that is administration so more you put in administration doesn't help predict uh, greater profit or less profit depending on uh, depending on the relationship between the variable the independent variable and dependent variable so we can move that one now let's see what we have so these zeros the zero here isn't zero it just has uh, it's really low so it goes beyond the decimal points here so this could be like a, a one or something right here the fourth decimal spot um, now we here we have this is the highest p-value and that is for marketing and it's really close to the p-value we picked was 0 0.05 uh, so we'll get rid of it here but um, it's really close so there are other methods to use to see if this should be removed or not because it it's, seems like it's really close to being statistically significant uh, to predicting the profit so we will remove it for this purposes and now here we go so what we're left here is now the uh, research development column so that is so since this p is so low that is highly significant statistically significant to predicting the profit of a startup if we had those variables uh, if you had like a thousand then we can just run it through here and this would be able to predict and this is the main variable that you need is the research and development Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check out my website datasciencing.com and available for available for data sciencing consulting. Uh, either you have short term projects that are a couple hours or if you want long, longer term projects for a couple months. And you can email me at peterkerbal at hotmail.com or or fill out the form on my website.